Hello children, welcome to story time with Miss Nidhi. Today I have another wonderful story by Pratham Books to share with all of you. Come, let me take you through today's story. The title for today's story is A Dancer's Tale. The author of this story is Samantha Cutler and the illustrations are done by Thea Nicole D. Clark. Let's find out about about this dancer in today's story. Once upon a time, not so far away, a baby called Phyllis was born for ballet. Two people in love, her mom and her dad, could not have known yet what a dancer they had. When Phyllis was four, she had us transfixed, impressing her teachers with ducky feet, legs before school and after. She danced every day. Nothing pleased Phyllis more than ballet. The world would soon see when only 15, she travelled to London to live out her dream far from home and her friends. She was starting afresh. The Royal Ballet School would soon be impressed. When she danced Swan Lake, it was fit for the Queen. After years perutting, it was time to be seen. She took to the stage, leaping, twirling about with everyone smiling. They clap and they shout. From Mexico to Canada, the US to France, everyone asked her to visit and dance with the Royal Ballet and all of her friends. She spread love for dancing, so it never would end. Still, Phyllis missed home. They had been too long apart. She longed to return and to make a fresh start. So she leaped and she bounded to her beautiful land to walk once again on South African sand. Dance isn't just fun. As Phyllis well knew, she worked day and night and with hard work she grew. Always smiling and tireless through good times and tough. She aimed for her best. Good was never enough. Romeo and Juliet, Swan Lake and Giselle. She captured each audience under her spell with Gary Bournet beside her. Edward Grayling too. Her dancing was magic in every review. Reward comes eventually when you're put to the test and one day South Africa would call her the best. Prima Ballerina Solta, greatest dancer of all, her title forever. Phyllis wanted no more. Soon, Phyllis found love when she met Philip Boy, a dancer himself. They were both overjoyed. In love, they soon married and together they danced. No match could be better when given the chance. They didn't have children but never were sad for they had a way to help all moms and dads. Their school danced for all would give children a chance from all walks of life to learn and love dance. Her gift to the world and all her success help others to realize they can be their best. They dance for us now, inspired by her feats, inspiring us too as we dream in our seeds. So children, that brings me to the end of the story. I hope you all enjoyed listening to today's story. So stay tuned, I will be back again with yet another wonderful story for all of you. Till then, tata, bye bye, see you.